Grace. Happy birthday. And since you are not able to celebrate your birthday in school, I am going to read you a birthday book for at home. Okay? So you still get a birthday book. You just don't get it in school. And this book is called 10 Rules of the Birthday Wish. 10 Rules of the Birthday Wish. There are most definitely are very specific, tried and true, and absolutely essential rules for the making of a birthday wish. In case of any confusion about the number of rules, place hands here. Rule number one, it must be your birthday or close to your birthday sometime in the last or next week. Your age should have increased by one unless you are a beetle, bug, or insect. If you are, your life cycle is a month or a week or sniff, sniff, only a single day, please celebrate immediately, as soon as possible. Flutter, flap, fly, right on to rule number two. You must have a party, a celebration, hoopla, or jamboree. There should be games and laughter and definitely hats. Hats immediately elevate the party mood. Or you can have a drive-by like you did. Food is also a good idea. See rule number three. As are streamers, confetti, and balloons. Unless you are a rhinoceros. If you are a rhinoceros, a swordfish, a sea urchin, or pointy in any way, you may want to skip the balloons. Pop. Rule number three, you must have cake or cannoli or cream puffs or churros. Your dessert does not specifically have to start with the letter C, even if some of the best desserts do. The letter could be P or B or even I. Whatever letter your dessert starts with, it must be sturdy enough to accommodate rule number four. You must have a light or lights to blow out. Traditionally, this would be a candle, but it could also be a sparkler. Unless you are a whale or a frog. If you are a whale, you may want to invite some fluorescent jellyfish to your party. If you are a frog, consider using fireflies as your candles and your dessert. Combining rules is completely acceptable. Either way, something light must go dark. Rule number five, there must be singing. Traditionally, the happy birthday song, sung happily and loudly and definitely off key. Unless your friends are feathered. I think they knew you when they wrote this rule. If you are lucky enough to have friends who can warble, croon, and carry a tune, sit back and enjoy the show. Look at those birds. Just singing, just for you, Grace. Rule number six, you must close your eyes. Closing your eyes keeps your wish safe inside your head where it can grow from something ordinary into something extraordinary. Rule number seven, you must take a deep breath. This will ensure the success of rule number nine, unless you are a puffer fish. If you are a puffer fish, definitely do not take a big breath because then you will puff up and all your guests will be concerned. Everyone knows a puffed up puffer fat fish is not a happy puffer fish, and happy is a big part of birth. Rule number eight, you must make a wish, just one wish, a single wonderful, amazing wish. It can be a big wish or a little wish, it can be a now wish or a later wish, but it should definitely be a can't think of anything greater wish. Rule number nine, you must blow out the candles in one single breath, unless you are a camel. If you are a camel, 
you will most likely spit on the cake as you are blowing out the candles. No one wants to eat a cake spritzed with camel spit. So please ask your friends to help. Combining breaths is completely acceptable. Rule number 10, don't forget that wish ends in shh. So keep your wish quiet, silent, hush, hush. And when the fun is done and your friends have left and the moon is high in the sky, close your eyes and dream. of your wish coming true. I hope your wish comes true. I hope you have a happy, happy birthday. Bye. And enjoy the chocolate.